outside. Fairly mild right now, but we could have some rain headed our way. We'll talk about that coming up. And we're starting to get a little bit busy right now in westbound 580 coming through the Dublin interchange. Coming up, a check your major Bay Area drive times. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, November 19th. I'm Michelle Griego. Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Malico. Nearly 5 o'clock now, and a manhunt is on for one of two suspects in a violent rampage through San Jose. This morning, a reward is being offered to help find him. CBS 5 reporter Alyssa Harrington is in San Jose this morning, where in just a few hours, police will hold a news conference. Alyssa? Good morning. We're outside of the 7-Eleven on South Kylie Boulevard, where a man was shot and killed while the suspects were trying to carjack him. In front of the 7-Eleven is a small memorial for San Jose resident 22-year-old Rory Park Pettiford. Now, police do have one person in custody. Here's his picture. 26-year-old Jonathan Wilbanks was arrested on Friday night. He was caught after a series of robberies, a police chase, shooting, and carjacking attempt that left a man dead. Now, here's a map that shows the path of this violent crime spree. Wilbanks' alleged accomplice did get away, but together they committed four robberies on Friday at a Little Caesars Pizza on Story Road, a gas station on East Capitol, a Jack in the Box on Kurtner Avenue, and a spa on Bird Avenue. Around 9 o'clock, the pair tried to carjack 22-year-old Rory Park Pettiford in a 7-Eleven parking lot and shot him dead. Police then spotted the car on Highway 101 near Interstate 280 and chased it through town. The suspects got out and opened fire on the officers. At about 9 o'clock, I heard a not continuous gunshot, but maybe a little one after another with time. Saw the victim's father up in the front, and uh, he was still in shock after finding out that his father, that his son had been shot in front of the 7-Eleven. Police returned fire and hit Will Banks. One officer also sh suffered two gunshot wounds, but he has been treated and released. Now, even after being shot, Will Banks and his accomplice got back into the car to try and flee while continuing to shoot at police. Will Banks was finally arrested after crashing his car on Cunningham Avenue and trying to hide inside of a house. The second suspect fled on foot and is still at large. A $10,000 reward is being offered for any help that leads to that arrest. This marks the city's 42nd homicide of the year. In San Jose, Alyssa Harrington, CBS 5. Alyssa, thank you. The victim of the latest murder in Menlo Park was from Newark. 42-year-old Carrie Cudlip was shot to death Saturday night. It happened when he was sitting in a car with a woman in the 300 block of Ivy Drive. Police are looking for two suspects. Suspects. They took the woman's purse and ran in opposite directions. The shooting was Menlo, Menlo Park's second homicide of the year. Authorities are going over missing persons reports as they try to identify a body pulled from the waters in San Francisco Bay. The U.S. Coast Guard found the man's body near Fort Baker about 8 o'clock yesterday.